Tonight on the NTV Evening News Hour, a dramatic interview with Shannon Murin following the arrest of Joey Oliver. All in connection with the murders of Dale Worthman and Kimberly Lockyer. We'll fill in some of the blanks as the investigation continues. A 37-year-old man remains in police custody tonight facing two second-degree murder charges. It's all in connection with the 1993 killings of Dale Worthman and Kimberly Lockyer. Joseph Oliver was arrested late on Friday. Meanwhile, another man, Shannon Murin, says the accused has tried to finger him in the case, but he had nothing to do with it. NTV's Darren Bent has the very latest. 37-year-old Joseph Anthony Oliver of Portugal Cove St. Phillips was brought into court Saturday morning. He offered no comment as he was escorted through a group of media and police to officially be charged with two counts of second-degree murder in connection with the deaths of Dale Worthman and Kimberly Lockyer. A friend of the Worthmans on hand for Saturday's court appearance says the family was surprised by what's happened since they knew Mr. Oliver. Do you know Mr. Oliver? Yes, I do. Yeah, how do you know him? Uh, can you tell me about I him? I know he slipped on the road all his life. Friends. Everybody was friends. You're surprised by this? Yeah. Are you saddened by it? Yeah. yeah. Friend of yours? Years ago, yeah. Friend of Mr. Whitman? Yeah. How does he feel about knowing who it is? Shocked. I was over last night and I was talking for a while and he left went in and went to bed right so. The couple went missing from their St. Philip's home in the summer of 1993. Their personal belongings were left undisturbed as if they hadn't planned to leave at all. Their whereabouts was unknown until this past summer when their bodies were discovered down a dirt road on the outskirts of St. John's. An intensive police investigation led to Friday's arrest of Mr. Oliver. A list of potential witnesses the accused is not to have contact with was provided to the court. On the list were this couple, Shannon Murin and Kathy McDonald. Mr. Murin says Joseph Oliver tried to finger him for the murders, but he says he had nothing to do with it. Well, then let me ask you this directly, then, and I know everybody else has No, I did not. <laughs> no, I did not kill him. Were you involved in any way? Absolutely not. Don't even, like, it's just... I'm just as much surprised, but I figure out what... Mr. Murin was acquitted of the 1994 murder of eight-year-old Mindy Tran in British Columbia. In 2000, he returned to his home in this province. He was followed by one of the jurors in the case, Kathy McDonald. They've been together ever since. Mr. Murin says because of statements given by Mr. Oliver, police have questioned him and his family. They've taken DNA samples from him in connection with the investigation. But he says he wasn't involved. If there's someone else involved in that, right? Well, I don't know. No, well, it wasn't me. I mean, like I, t like I tell everybody, if I done that, if I killed Kim and Dale, I don't think it, it, it bothered me too much to plant a piece of crap like Joe Oliver in the ground, right? To only two graves are to be free. I mean, why would I let him walk around and, and... As for the investigation, police are saying little, only that Mr. Oliver is not the only suspect. As for the accused, his lawyer, Bob Buckingham, says this has come as a shock. I, I can say, though, that uh, with respect to the matters today, and my client is uh, surprised he was charged and has a number of questions which uh, he wants me to put to uh, uh, the state uh, in due course with respect to the matters. Is that what? The charge of second-degree murder against Mr. Oliver does not include the elements of planning or deliberation, which are reserved for people charged with first-degree murder. Mr. Oliver will be back in court in February or before if he applies for bail. Darren Bent, NTV News.